Hello my students, how are you today? I'm so happy to see you again and most welcome in Ahadi Muhammad School. Today inshallah we will have from unit 8, lesson 6, we will work with pupils book page 103, workbook page 87. Our outcomes students should be able to listen for sequence information and this is for listening, play a game and this is for speaking. Please prepare your box and open it. So we have for today lesson 6, listening and speaking. We have here, as you can see, some pictures. So can you tell me what can you see here? Yes, excellent. We have many kinds of animals. We have animals in the sea, on the land, or in the air. Okay, now we will have to look at question number one. Question number one, label the animals. You have to tell me the name of each animal that we have. We have here monkey, frog, lizard, octopus, butterfly, scorpion, and bird. Number one is done for you, which is fish. Now, number two. Yes, excellent. This is octopus. What about number seven? This is butterfly. Number six. This is a bird. And number five. This is a monkey. Number three. This is a scorpion. Akrab. And the last one, number four, this is a frog. Please label them. Question number two, look and write the names of the animals in activity one. Then listen to check your answer. As you can see here, we have sequence of information. According to this information, according to this information we will answer the question. So, has it got a backbone? If it yes, also it had got wings. So, it's bird. And if uh, it hasn't got a backbone and it has wings, so it's excellent. This is butterfly. Right, please. So, if it hasn't got wings and backbone, look here, it hasn't got backbone it hasn't got wings so this is excellent this is scorpion right please for sure you have to choose um, the, the name of the animals from activity one okay now number four it has got fur and it hasn't got wings so this is excellent monkey right please so it has got backbone it has got fur, this is monkey. It has got backbone and it hasn't got fur and it has uh, got scales so this, uh, and fins. So this is excellent fish, right please? So as you can see here, to understand more, we have fish. Fish has fins, has scales, hasn't got wings and has a backbone, has got a backbone. So this is fish. What about it, uh, uh, what about number eight? It has got scales, but it hasn't get uh, got fins. So this is excellent. Thank you. This is lizard. Now go back, please, to the second column, which is about hasn't got backbone. Butterfly hasn't got a backbone. Has got wings. So this is butterfly. Uh, about scorpion, it hasn't got a backbone. It hasn't got wings. So this is scorpion. Now. It hasn't got a backbone and uh, it it hasn't got wings and also it lives in the sea. Yes, excellent. So this is an octopus and the last one, it hasn't got a backbone, it hasn't got wings, it hasn't got uh, wings and it doesn't live in the sea. This is excellent frog. Now we will listen to the audio to check our answer. Listen, please. Did you know that not all animals have backbones? For example, butterflies and scorpions don't have backbones. So, what's the difference between them? Well, butterflies have wings so that they can fly. Scorpions prefer to walk. There are other animals without backbones too. 
For example, octopuses and frogs. So, what's the difference between an octopus and a frog? Which one lives in the sea and which one doesn't? It's the octopus that lives in the sea. Frogs don't live in the sea, but they do like water. So, let's think about animals that have got backbones. Do we, as people, have backbones? Of course we do. Birds and monkeys have backbones too. So, what's the difference between birds and monkeys? Which one has wings? And which one has fur? Birds have wings so they can fly. But monkeys have fur to keep them warm. Are there any animals that have backbones and scales? Yes, there are. Both fish and lizards have backbones and scales. But which ones have fins? Of course, fish have fins so that they can swim in the water. Lizards don't need fins because they prefer to walk. So, as you listen that we have two kinds of animals, one of them has got a backbone, the other not. And, of course, we have animals have wings, have fur, have scales, have fins, other animals uh, live in the sea, etc. Okay, now we will move to the third question that we have. Play, guess the animal with a friend. You have to guess the animal according to their features. Has it got a backbone? No, it hasn't. It's a, uh, is it a scorpion? Yes, it is. For example, has it got a backbone? Yes, it has. Has it uh, got wings? Yes. So, is it a bird? Yes, it is. You can do this with your friends or your siblings and you can show me that. If you have finished, please move to your workbook, page 87. So, we have here lesson 6, language builder. We have question number 1, which animals is it? Write the words. We have fox, thalab, starfish, ladybird, shark, spider, and sperm. Starfish, Najmit al-Bahar. Now, we have here 6 sentences. You have to guess what is the animal that we talk about. Now, number 1 is done for you. Let's move to number 2. This is animal that has got fur it hasn't got fins it lives in the countryside it's a it hasn't got fins it lives in the countryside so it's a excellent it's a fox right please what about number five this animals this animal lives in water it hasn't got skills but it's got fins it's a yes excellent thank you this is a shark write it please number three this animal has got feathers and it's got wings it's a excellent sparrow write it please now number four and six these are homework for you you have to do it then check your answers from the video now question number two what has it got write text and crosses for each animal we have a starfish fox ladybird shark spider and sparrow Spine, wings, fur, scales, feathers, fins, lives in water. Now, let's start with starfish. It's done for you. It hasn't got spine. It hasn't got wings. It hasn't got fur. It hasn't got scales. It hasn't got feathers. It hasn't got fins. And it lives in water. So, we have to write here, tick. Now, number two, fox. Is it, uh, has it got spine yes excellent so we have to put tick here has it got wings no so please write cross 
Has it got a fur? Yes, excellent. Right, tick. Has it got scales? No, so cross. Has it got feathers? No, cross. Has it got fins? No, also cross. And also it doesn't live in water. It lives in the countryside. Now, number three. Has it got the spine? No, excellent. So, cross. Has it got wings? Yes, excellent. So, we have to write tick. Has it got fur? No, write cross. Has it got scales? No, also cross. Has it got feathers? Also cross. Excellent, my student. Has it got fins? No, so cross and it doesn't live in water so also here cross now number four shark has it got a spine yes excellent so this is tick or this is true has it got wings of course not so cross has it got a fur excellent also cross has it got scales? Yes, also. Cross. Has it got feathers? Of course not, so. Cross. Has it got fins? Yes, so tick. And also it lives in water, so tick. Now, spider and sparrow, these are homework for you. Do it, then check your answers from the video. Now, number three, we have to use the information in the grid to write about these animals. Now, number one, about fox. We have a fox has got fur and it also has got a spine. It hasn't got wings. It hasn't got scales. It hasn't got feathers. It hasn't got fins. And also, uh, it doesn't live in water. What about a shark it has got a spine it has got fins it hasn't got wings it hasn't got scales it hasn't got feathers it hasn't got a fur and also it lives in water a sparrow you have to do it and check your answers from the video so my student these are the answers of question number three and this is our class for today. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye-bye.